Hey there, just, just a quick vid to show you an upgrade I'm working on to the flower pot heater. That works perfect. I can feel the heat all the way to the back side of the couch. Beautiful. Check out that fan blade. It's moving now. Nice, smooth, blue flame. I'll drop that on. What we got? 223, 224 Celsius. 434, 437 Fahrenheit. This, by the way, is working unbelievably well, especially for a smaller flower pot like that. I thought I was going to have to use a bigger one so it could capture more of the heat, but it's capturing all of it perfectly. The fan is going totally full blast. 468, 464. 240, 242 Celsius. That's top temps right there. Here it is running on six T lights. Fans a little slower than when we use the liquid fuel, but it's still pumping out a good amount of heat. It's taking all the heat that's absorbing up into the pot and radiating straight upwards and blowing it out into the room. If you're not familiar with these fans, again, they just soak up the heat of the pot up the metal to that little white wafer chip there called the TEG chip, thermoelectric generator chip. It creates a small current from the heat differential uh, from the bottom of the chip to the top and sends that to the motor. That's what runs it. literally creates its own electricity just from the flame. One thing to remember, it's very important, when the fuel goes out, don't just re-add fuel, liquid fuel, to a hot container. That's a terrible idea. A lot of times you'll have a flash fire because of that, and it'll just shoot up at you. So use a fresh or cool one and swap it out. Wait till it's totally cool before you put any new liquid fuel in it. Runs a long time, too, even after the fuel goes out like that. Like 10 or 15 minutes. Here it is after 10 minutes, it's still going strong. 